Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. So tonight what we're going to talk about is the USG and the Unify and firewall rules. So let's hop over to our cloud key and we will uh, take a look at what we've got going on. So this is our cloud key. Now I'm rearranging some things, always rearranging, playing around. Uh, so this is the cloud key and it has the cloud key uh, certificate that we installed, but I've got the IP changed at the moment. I'm, I'm playing around with a couple of things. But regardless, this is our cloud key and we have a lab USG. We are on 5.5.24 for the controller, latest stable release. And we are on firmware version 4.3.60. Then this big long extraneous number here. I just upgraded this firmware. So to get into the firewall rules, and this is just what I'm going to show you, uh, it should be, if you're familiar with the edge router, this should be kind of familiar to, familiar to you here because the rule sets are getting closer and closer all the time. So we're going to go over to settings, and we're going to come over to routing and firewall. We're going to go to firewall. And the rule set that we are going to be manipulating will be uh, LAN in. And that's because we want to block traffic. We're going to block traffic between subnets. So this is kind of like when we did the IoT subnet on the edge router. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here to our network. We're going to create a new network and we're going to call this IoT. Now, you could do a couple different things, um, but if you want everything to just be able to communicate within that, so maybe you just want to separate this off and you're going to have users and printers and all that good stuff in that, that network, then um, this firewall uh, rule is going to be perfect for you. If you don't want those devices to be able to communicate at all. That's something totally different. So this is really mirrors our IoT, you know, where you just get this network, it's floating over there, and it just can't access anything on the main, the main network. So um, I'm going to change it up, though. I'm going to create IoT, and I'm going to create another network. We're going to have three networks, and I'm going to show you how to block IoT from getting to a different network. Now you could take this and tweak it and do the DHCP and the DNS and exactly mirror the edge router IoT video. So we're going to give this one, we're going to call this VLAN 20. And it's going to be 192.168.20.1 slash 24. We're not going to specify a domain name. The default DHCP range should be fine. So go ahead and save that. So you're going to see that's going to be VLAN 20. And then we're going to call this, um, we'll call this renter. It's also going to be uh, a corporate network, and this will be 30. And default DHCP is fine there. So now we've got our IoT, we've got our LAN, which we're going to use as our infrastructure network or our management VLAN, which is uh, untagged. It's not best practice to use your untagged uh, VLAN 1 as uh, management. In this case, this is just a lab, but uh, in production networks, you're going to want to look at how to not do that. If you need help with that, contact me. So now we've got our untagged network. We've got VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a rule that does not allow IoT to get to renter. So to do that, we're going to go over to routing and firewall. We're going to go to firewall. We're going to go to LAN in. We're going to create a new rule. And this is going to be called block IoT. And then we're going to run it before the predefined rule because remember, the rules run in order. This will be drop all and the source is going to be a network and it's going to be IOT and we'll drop this down select net 
v4 and the destination is going to be a network and we're going to select renter net v4 and we'll click save on that and so now this rule right here um, is at the top of our rule list we told it to run before the predefined rules so now anything that is on the iot vlan cannot get to the renter vlan no if ands or buts so that's how you create the rules in unify after you create those rules your usg will provision and the traffic should be blocked so so try it out and go back to the edge router video and take a look at what we had to do to allow um, dns and dhcp if we blocked access to um, the the router itself now this is a usg so they can't do much without a username and password you're still going to want to lock that down but uh you know go out and play with that now real quick before we get too far away uh, i want to show you a couple things that uh, we've added to h5 technology we have a new forum section we are going to start uh, a forum here uh, and kind of build a community with all of you i'm hoping to build this community and then uh so that's h5technology.com forums if you just go to h5technology.com you're going to see the navigation bar we've got now the support link the forum the blog the contact and that support link has all of our terms and conditions and then you can also buy one hour two hours of support or a 10 hour time pack and you can pay via paypal or credit card fill all your information out we understand that you've now made a payment and you want to use us for services so we are going to get in touch with you so go ahead play with the firewall rules on your usg go ahead and check out the h5technology.com forum sign up for an account it's going to be evolving and i've got several other people who are going to help me moderate that system so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share please follow me on twitter and instagram please use those amazon affiliate links that are down there in the description they don't change your price they just kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep some of this gear rolling in go out if you need consulting and check out h5technology.com or go out and check out the forum anyway and we'll see you in the next video